Hello there, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I'm camping out tonight in a solar farm and I'm testing out this high gear single folding camp bed. There are some stats for you. Weighs about, well, nearly eight kilos. It's a good length, 190 centimeters, relatively wide. And it can take quite a load, 110 kilos. I'm about 85, so we should be good. I did find it quite easy to set up. I'll show you how to set it up and collapse it in the morning once I've slept on it and I've told you what it's like. What I have got on here, just for a bit of insulation, it's due to be a chilly night, is that's my Gore-Tex bivy bag with some foam in. I've got a Polish swag mat on top of that for a little bit of uh, extra insulation. And I'm sleeping in the Dutch Army M90 setup, which is the Dutch Army sleeping bag with the Gore-Tex bivy on top. Now these are quite well reviewed. So I am hopeful that I'm gonna be in for a good night's sleep. I'll tell you in the morning. Right, so this bed, what's it like? Well, I slept all right on this. I found it really good. It's really stable. I like the fact that you can just park on it. If you sit at the end, it's not one of those that tips up and throws you everywhere. It is a bit firm, um, probably better suited to uh, somebody who sleeps on the back. If you sleep on your side, a bit like me, I did find that um, my hips and shoulders felt you, you could feel it pressing through um, and that was even with the Polish swag mat on. I think with an air mat on, probably be a bit better. Uh, but yeah, really good. You can see the kind of length it is. This Dutch army bag is really long. So the bed itself is 190 centimeters. So if I just pop on, my feet were a little bit over the end. I'm about 5'10", 5'9", 5'10", somewhere in that bracket. So that's the kind of length it is. I like this, this will be coming out again. It was a little bit like, uh, for me as a sleeping experience, it was kind of like being in the hammock, only not quite as free flowing. In other words, you're off the ground and it felt better in that respect than sleeping on the ground, especially in cold weather. This high gear bed gets a thumbs up from me. I've had some of those cheaper camping beds before, the ones that are a bit naff. And uh, yeah, really like this. I'll put a link in the comments and the description so you can check it out if you want to. But yeah, I, I, I think it's great. So what I'll do is I'll now do some filming where I show you how to collapse it and reassemble it. Right, that's got everything off it. Now what you've got at the, each end are a couple of clips. They lock the legs in place. flip this over this way so it's easier to see. To release these you just need to pull back a little bit on the leg and then the clip releases. Same on this side, pull it away a little bit, clip releases and then these just fold in. Let's do it from this side so you can see. All just comes in together. And goes back in the bag. How straightforward is that? So to set it up, drop those, lift the legs. As you start to lift the legs, they start to spray, or splay, I should say. And then when you've got it at the right place, Take the clip, pull it back, lock that in place. Same here. Lock that in place. It's got some stuff caught in there. There you have it. Not bad, huh?
I really like this. It's good. Well made, strong, and what you need for a good night's sleep. If you like this little review, by all means, show it, show the video some love. Show the video some thumbs up love. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, if you hit the subscribe and the bell notification, it costs you nothing, just means you get a notification whenever I've uploaded another video. And all that's pretty cool, I think. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. Cheerio.